Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about component declaration and component instantiation in structural model of PHDL programming. So, in the structural model, as I told you, in the structural model, we are writing the code on the structure. We are writing the code on the structure. That means, uh, suppose if you are taking a full adder, internally how many components are present. For all those components, you are going to write the program and later you are going to port map them. So, while you are port mapping them, you have to uh, declare the component first. First, you suppose if you are having half adder, suppose for example, for example, half adder is there. Consider half adder, half adder. So, half adder is having two gates one is XR gate, one is XR gate, and sorry xr gate xr gate another one is and gate another one is and gate two inputs are common for both of them so here these are the two inputs a b are the inputs here and this is sum which is equal to a x r b and and gate output is carry c out is equal to a into b this is a simple half adder diagram so two inputs are there two outputs are there half adder we know it is used to add two bits of information now this half adder is having one xr gate and one and gate so if you want to write the structural code for this half adder you need to write two component declaration declare two vhdl codes they are nothing but first one is for xr gate and the second one is for and get that is called component declaration so first we need to declare what is the component what is the component in the uh, circuit okay so once the code is completely written like a uh, code is nothing but normally we are writing entity we uh, architecture okay so why uh, for your for writing xr gate or for writing or uh, and gate first you need to write entity architecture for that code so later you need to declare that component declare that component inside the architecture of main program or in the combined program port mapping program so for that we need component declaration component declaration i will give you example also what to do okay the syntax for this component declaration is syntax is component 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 name component component name is is here is optional you can use or no need to use port <laughs> sorry list of port list of interfacing ports interfacing ports and then end component end component you can stop up to this end component or you can add component name also that is optional component name end component component name so this is component declaration this is component declaration so once the component is declared you need to instantiate that in the program you need to instantiate that in the program so how to instantiate the component so that is component instantiation component instantiation so component instantiation means a component instantiation statement <laughs> defines a sub component of the entity sub component of the entity so component label syntax is syntax component label component label component name component name port map port map of association list association 
list okay so this is the way to instantiate the component which has already declared which has already been declared that we need to call here okay so for example example i will write we have taken one half header we have taken one half header here which consists of one xr gate and one and gate okay so first we need to write the declarative statements of those two so entity xr gate is port a comma p input std underscore logic y out std underscore logic and xr gate while you are writing the component declarative programs you can use data flow model okay no need to use process and again complicated programs so architecture architecture data flow of xr gate is begin y is equal to a x r b and data okay this is for x r gate this is for x r gate and similarly we need to write <coughs> and gate program and gate program so and gate program same entity and underscore gate is port of some pq in std underscore logic t out std underscore logic and and gate you have to remember one thing here inputs and output i have changed here actually we no need to change we can use the same inputs whatever we have used in the previous program okay here we have used a b y here also we can use a b and y as output okay because it does not have any influence on that code xr gate is different code and end gate is different code okay and architecture architecture data flow of and gate is begin begin t is equal to p and q and data okay now we have written xr gate program we have written and gate program now we need to write the main program which is the structural code which now consists of component declaration and component instantiation so these two are components what are the components here we have one component xr gate has one component component xr gate <coughs> here we have one more component this is component component and gate okay this is one gate that is another gate now we need to write main program in this we need to declare both to both of them components and as well as we need to instantiate also so entity entity uh, half header is port port a comma b in std underscore logic s comma c out std underscore logic as per the original inputs and outputs we have written uh, the same a b are there in the program xr get but no problem it does not change the behavior of the program so and half adder and half adder now architecture architecture structural of half adder is now we need to 
declare the components before begin the program we need to declare the components so component what are the components we have in the xr in the operator one xr gate xr gate is component xr gate is now we need to write whatever we have written in the port the same we need to write here as it is in the same order so port a comma b in port of a comma b in std underscore logic y out std underscore logic and now it is component and component x circuit you can write otherwise you can leave it here only the end component so the first component we have declared here okay see here we are writing the code for the half adder we have taken the half adder entity now in the architecture in the architecture we are calling the function xr gate which has already has a, a statement like y is equal to a x r b okay this is the actual output we are not writing the entire code here only we are taking the entity part okay that means when you are declaring this particular entity as a component in this program that means that uh, that uh, xr gate you are using here as a part of the component okay and the second one is component component and gate component and gate is port of so what are the inputs we have used pq same inputs you have you should not change uh, when you are declaring this particular gate as a component there same port mapping should be done so pq t p q in std underscore logic t out std underscore logic end component and get our end component so now component declarations are done two components are there two both of the components are declared here now begin begin if any intermediate signals are there that we have to declare here as a signal before begin only okay after components here declaration then we can use a signal if any intermediate uh, intermediate signals are there that we have to use here otherwise begin now label some label <coughs> l not l not first component is xr gate so xr gate xr underscore gate component name component port map xr gate port map so now what are the inputs of this main program this program is a comma b a comma b output is s so a comma b yes as output see when you are writing this line when you are writing this line the ports of this current program capital a and b are mapped with the component xr gates input ports a small a comma small b and similarly s is at the third place here y is at the third place see a comma b comma y in this way it reads the ports so first a comma b are appended with the it a comma b and y is assigned with yes y is assigned with this yes so this a b will go to that particular program xr gate program and operation will be performed later y will come here and it is assigned to yes that is the result and again second label l1 and gate and gate port map of port map of again same input c comma b and output here it is now c c carry this is output so here a comma b are assigned with pq and c is assigned to t so t is this particular program go to that uh, and component and uh, performs there after the and operation t will be having the result that t will be again moved to the c okay and you are not supposed to change the order of inputs and outputs here you cannot write yes a comma b you cannot write c a comma b because you have how, how in which way you have declared here in the component in the same way you have to uh, write in the port mapping also so end end what is this data uh, structural okay so this is the 
component declaration and component instantiation. Now I am writing in red color. What is what? This is component component instantiation component instantiation and this is component declaration component declaration this one also component declaration component declaration the purpose of the previous two codes and gate and R gate is this component to work okay so the component which we have declared in this particular program will work only if those two supporting files are available okay so whenever you write this line automatically the current program will be uh, added with this previous programs okay this is what component declaration and component instantiation thank you